Today's going to be kind of a, a fun one. We are doing our um, Halloween spooky property management horror stories. Uh, but just come up here and share your stories. Okay, my scary story is I had just gotten to the mountains in the Sierras and I was with the brother of my client and I get a weird text message with a news article and I look at the article and he's like, what's so important? Your brother sent me an article about a, a murder in, 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 like in the street near his apartment and then finally the text messages start trickling in. I think this is my tenant. Can you find out for me? And it was. The tenant had murdered her cousin on the street in front of the condo complex. Um, so I received a work order. I do the window coverings. Super excited. Go out, go to measure, get to the property. I see the pest control sign on the door. It says a few days ago it was sprayed. Good to know. Happy about that. Put the lockbox code in, open the door, and dead cockroaches fell all over. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a project. This project was pretty weird. House was kind of vacant. Uh, it was a, a all around a fireplace. So we have to gut all this, this wall around a fireplace. And the only thing in the house was a mattress, an ottoman, and this like large Tupperware, like igloo-ish thing. This is almost a commercial for igloo. So he says, hey, we need to talk with your, with your text that we're there, we need to go over everything. And we use these cool cameras where we take pictures every day. So I, hey, I can give you this footage. Um, there was someone, there was a body in the igloo. Oh, no. So we've been on this project for seven days and there's a decomposed body in an igloo. Uh, He's telling me that he went to a house and he went to the house with his group and they were walking up and on their way to the door, this didn't have professional property management by the way, on the way to the door he's got Please. So, okay. So he's working this way. They get up to the door, they open the door, and they, there's no electricity on it. And the guys are walking in and they're going, God, what an ugly color. You know, I mean, and they, the whole thing, it's all the same, you know? I mean, and then they noticed the walls are moving. Everything's moving. The whole house is full of fleas. Everything, it looked like it was all painted. That's how many fleas were in this house. Okay, whoa. Uh, hoarder houses, I know we've all seen them. They're pretty gross, pretty weird situations. A lot of gross stuff in there. Um, this one was, um, it was a mother's house. The daughter had been living there and the daughter recently passed. So they'd been taken over, so they were coming in to, to clear out the house. Um, and as they're going through all the stuff, you know, eventually there's a rug rolled up in the corner, um, and they, they pick it up to, to find a, a mummified body in the in the rug. The um, mother had actually passed away 15 years earlier, and the daughter had been collecting her um, like Medicare still, right? Never reported her dead. Just rolled her up in the carpet and put her in the living room. So we got we got cold in the. To do work on a water damage in a restaurant, and uh, and there also there was a foul smell. So we working around, open up the walls, and we find maggots. So all the wall cavities were full of maggots because the way they clean that restaurant at the end of every day, they clean everything down and then they hose down the floor. Somehow the water went behind the baseboard tile. And he got in there and he collected it because there's tile on both sides of the wall and uh, now all the food and stuff, so yummy. So I go and I rent this place. I'm all super excited. I put in an anesthesiologist. Within a month of move-in, I get this message from him and it says, hey, I cannot believe I'm calling and saying this, but I need you to call me back. I think this house is haunted. This was crazy. Every single TV, everything electronic went on in the house at the same time, full volume, completely out of nowhere. So then he says, next thing, he's upstairs, his dogs are downstairs, and he hears a crash so loud 
that he was sure somebody had driven a car into the house. I mean, that's how loud and significant it was. And he rushes downstairs, the dogs are going crazy. This is a quiet cul-de-sac neighborhood, so there's nothing going on. Nothing has fallen. He's like, I, I don't know what's going on. So then the kicker, he decides to call me, he says he and his fiance, so he has a witness, he and his fiance are in bed at night in the primary bedroom. They're sleeping. He said they both wake up, sit up in bed because there's this glowing blue orb and it's moving around the room on the ceiling. There's no way to describe it, no way to explain it. There's just this blue orb moving all around the ceiling. The owner is an emergency room orthopedic person. I'm calling my friend and I'm telling her all this stuff. She goes, oh my God, I thought when we did the seance, it got rid of that. Oh my God. <laughs> her first husband was a uh, Navy SEAL and she had bought him a motorcycle. They lived in that house together. So she bought him a motorcycle for his birthday and they got in a big fight one night and he took off on the motorcycle and there was trees covering the stop sign in this neighborhood. And he got nailed and he was taken to her trauma hospital area where she would have been, but she was pissed. So she called out and she left to like Palm Springs for the weekend. He took the bike out and crashed and died. So they did this whole like seance thing to try and get rid of the spirit.